Hello my soccer universe, for a quick review of yesterday's conference league action we will look at match day 5 and we have quite a few teams already qualified for the next round. Uh, there were also a few um, make-up games in there, you know Maccabi Tel Aviv couldn't play in the last slot we have so we have their one game as well. But we also had some really thunderous uh, results in there as well. Turkish clubs being beaten to pulp more or less. Club Bruges going to Besiktas, winning 5-0. And then uh, probably the one from the thumb, the thumb that was really outstanding performance. Nordschelland Fenerbahce, 6-1. This is a result that I've never seen. Yes, Nordschelland already took Ludogorets to the house. Uh, but this was a thumping that I really did not see coming uh so quite a big one uh we had another huge result for park winning 2-1 at frankfurt winning the group that's a pretty uh significant result uh after a, a week that was actually not so great for greek teams but park uh hanging in there it's another downer for frankfurt and then we had some uh big wins for the three teams up there uh probably we have to include lil as well Z keeping themselves alive, Aston Villa barely getting a win and Fiorentina also uh, getting a comeback win and looking good in their group overall. Uh, but I want to go group by group and let's talk about the results in there. We'll start in group A uh, where Lille went uh, to Ljubljana on a horrific pitch. I have, I mean, there was a lot of rain and yes, around here there was is, is a lot of snow and rain and so it's kind of really muddy uh but little took edge advantage especially in the first goal where the ball just gets stopped and uh, he can pull it in, into the net and they get a 2-0 win and at the same time uh slovan gets a comeback win at um the ferry islands even a 2-1 at Klaxvik. Klaxvik actually takes takes a lead but then uh, uh kucho turning it around kuchka formerly also uh, Milan player so Lille and Slovan already through it's only for first place and we'll see the uh, um, uh, fixtures at the end of this video in group B this was already where uh, Maccabi had a makeup game uh, beating Zoria one more time uh, I think it was a 3-2 um, and then uh, yesterday also getting um, you know kind of Hartford 2-1 win at Breda Blick and they are through Ghent also 4-1 over Zoria. So those are two and it's between the, uh, Ghent and Maccabi Aviv who will go on to win the group and get the bye in the next round. Group C is the one where Pilsen were already through and you know scoring a late goal at Balcony uh, to win the fifth game in a row is a pretty impressive performance and Czech teams uh, if you watched your Europa League video have been really really good um, uh, this week so uh, another big win for the Czechs and Dinamo gives themselves a huge shot in the arm by winning 2-0 at Astana and you know for all what we've said that Zagreb is not doing well you know losing to Balkany and uh, also twice to Victoria Pilsen now um, six points it's not the greatest of groups but uh, they have a good shot of advancing from that group. Uh, same thing can all, of course be said for Brugge and Bordeaux. Bordeaux claimed both of them getting big wins. As I said, Claire Bruch 5 0 at Besiktas. Besiktas is really, really, really bad. Remember how hard they lost uh, to Lugano at home earlier this year. And then Bode also beating Lugano 5 2. Uh, those two are the class of, of the group. Claire Bruch just a tad above. It's again between those two for first place. Let's go over to the second set of groups where uh, I think group E's and group F's are pro probably the most in 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 interesting ones because not all is decided. Yes, we know more or less who will advance. Aston Villa is through uh, 12 points. Z cannot catch them anymore. Uh, so they have to through. It's just will they win the group? They will also likely win that group. Uh, although I think their overall tie against Legia um, ends in, 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 in a draw uh, with Legia 
beating Villa 3-2 at home and now Villa actually turning around winning 2-1 but it's not a pretty fight they took an early then Legia actually equalized and it was only then that uh, uh, as Villa just got the win just just as they without really stretching themselves uh, at the same time AZ had quite a few chances Loads of penalty calls against Rinsky Moscow. That was another one of those weird wins where, you know, AZ had a 3 0 halftime lead in Mostar and losing 4 3. They needed this win to keep their chances alive. They now need um, a win against Legia if they want to stay and advance uh, in the uh, into the next round. Uh, they have already. The they have won the home, home game in the way they need to also win, but Lega have won all of the home games, so not an easy one there for uh, Z. In Group F, huge win for Fiore and Fiorentina, uh, again coming again back from a deficit, looking really good, uh, having already qualified for the next round. Now it's for the bye. Uh, it's between Ferenc Varus, who actually get a very late li uh, win against Cukaricki. Cukaric had a beautiful goal to open the scoring, but Ferenc Varsh late turns it around uh, and wins it. And as I said, Genk lo lo losing suspense in Ferenc Varsh and Genk, uh, who will advance, but uh, Ferenc Varsh also have a shot of winning that group uh, if they beat. I think they have the last game against Fiorentina. Um, yes, at, uh, at home to Fiorentina. If they beat Fiorentina at home, they might be through. A huge win for Frank uh, for Park at Frankfurt again, beating the Germans. This time, even more deserved than they winning the home game. I gotta say, um, taking the lead quickly. Frankfurt could equalize, but Frankfurt. Um, it's not the same Frankfurt that won the Europa League two years ago, so uh, that was not a not a good good overshowing, especially how Jakic got sent off. But just getting in an argument with the referee, I mean, nerves are high in Frankfurt. Uh, also, note, I mean, uh, Helsing get a two 0 lead against Aberdeen. Aberdeen come back, but the game had to be suspended first. Because Scottish fans were throwing snowballs at the goalkeeper, then the whole field needed to be cleared from snow. Then again, um, s snowballs were thrown. This took forever to get finished. This game, so a uh, rather interesting one there. And then we have Group H, where it's all open. But if you look at goal difference, North Zealand have 17 to six because they beat already Ludogorets at home seven one, and now they beat Fenerbahce six one. Weather may have played a little uh, role there, but no, not China are really, really, really good in there. It's Spartak uh, Trunova who are ag 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 actually out there loses home to Ludogorets. The goalie were the best, was the best player, and then he spills in the last in stoppage time, deep in stoppage time, he spills the ball and allows Ludogorets to get the win. And what about is in North Zealand six one over Fenerbahce. It's an absolute mauling and Fenerbahce a little bit on the outside looking in. Uh, they have, uh, on the other side, they have to go to Spartak, whereas Ludogor is in North Zealand have a head-to-head -head for the group win. So maybe there is a chance for Fenerbahce to still advance thanks to that head-to-head. -head. Um, if we look now at the overall favorites, Villa, it's all three your European have an overwhelming favorite from England at the moment. It is Villa, Fiorentina is in second, Lille third, and I guess Frankfurt and Bruges uh, we don't really see coming. <laughs> Fenerbahce is dropping fast out of there. But again, it will be interesting whoever will make it into uh, the car from, from, from the Europa League. There are some big teams with Ajax, uh, USG in there. Um, this will be interesting. Uh, Rangers potentially, you know, there are some teams that could make some trouble. And we've talked about upcoming come, come games, but here we have the final group games. Lega against AZ. That is really for advancing. Uh, Lega need to avoid defeat against AZ. Uh, then we have Ferenc Varos against Fiorentina for the group win, but also Ferenc Varos needs to get something out of there because if Genk beat uh, Cukaricki, then they're out uh, with everything decided in the next group. And then we have Ludogorets against Nord Zealand. It's for the group win and Fenerbahce probably will beat Spartak to Turnova, which actually gives them a huge shot of uh, uh, advance. We saw already they have the biggest chance of advancing there. And then for the other groups, uh, groups A to B, uh, Club Rouge and Bold, but is for first place, but you know, uh, both of them have already advanced. Zagreb against Bal Balkany, not only for revenge, but Zagreb will need that win if they want to uh, go through. Uh, we have 
Lil uh, in in the head to head against uh, Slovan, uh, but I guess Lil will beat Clucks. We get home. Um, we have also Maccabi Tel Tel Aviv against Ghent. This is for the group win, so another one that might potentially be interesting. So yeah. Conference League is shaping up quite, quite nicely. We have some big teams in there. I really hope there will be some other big names dropping from the Europa, Europa League that we get an exciting uh, knockout phase there as well for Europe's third best comp competition. In any case, let me know who you think will win it, what you thought about the results yesterday. Will Nordjylland make a deep run and I need to get a Danish jersey for the first time? Let's see. In any case, give a thumbs up, enjoy this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!